Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this flower colorful seed beads ring. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make it by yourself even if you are beginner level. Now, if you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. Like I have these earrings and I'll link them here at the eye icon. And I also have this bracelet that, that is matching my ring and my earrings. And uh, you could uh, have a, the full set here you see and to make a beautiful present that is why it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button okay and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want and here i use monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice but for this project i prefer monofilm okay this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers i use them only to go through the difficult beads they are not obligatory Okay, and now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle, let's say about half an arm span and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 beads and I will alternate a yellow and a green one. Okay, and now I have 12 beads, 6 yellow and 6 green beads, 3 by 3 divided, okay, and now I'm going to slide those down, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made like this and pull and then I'm going to make one more knot And now guys, this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of beads. Okay, and I'm going here through some beads and my goal is to exit through a yellow bead. Okay, and I need two yellow beads. Going back in circle through this yellow and through the following green. Then through the following yellow. Okay. Two. Go back and go through the next green, exiting out of the next yellow. Two. In order to save time, I'm going through the following yellow. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I finish this row and what I want to do is go through this yellow in this direction. Okay, I have this and now I'm going to flip my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction. I'm right-handed, so counterclockwise is easier. Now I have two beads here and I'm going through this yellow like this going to the center of my work and I have a herringbone stitch here. If you're not familiar, this is herringbone. This is what herringbone is. Then I take one green bead and I go 
in the following yellow from the center to the outside. And I need two yellow beads like this. I go from the outside to the center forming the so-called herringbone stitch. Then I take one green bead and I go from the center to the outside. You see how it works? And I'll show you one more time. Go to the center with two beads, then take one green bead and go to the outside. And I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and pay attention here at the end that I'm going through this yellow bead that is uh, here closer to the center and not through this one. Don't make the mistake to go through the, uh, to the above one. Okay, and now I'm taking one green bead, one red bead, sorry. And I'm going here through this yellow from the outside to the center. Then I'm taking two green beads and I'm going from the center to the outside. Okay, pulling here. One red, go here. Two greens, go to the outside. And I'm going to continue this the same way, repeat it three more times and meet you here in a while. I'll do this off camera. Okay, if you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat this part from here and everything will be okay. Okay guys, and now I'm here at the end and I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And now what I want to do is go here and take a red, a yellow and a red, okay? And I'm going back through this red bead. You see here I'm for forming something like a loop. And here what I need is yellow, two greens and a yellow. Okay, this is what I have. This is what I have. And I'm going through the red. And red, yellow, red, this is what I have. And I go back like this. And I then I take a yellow, two greens, and a yellow, okay. And I go through the following red, okay. And now guys, repeat this three more times from this side and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and these are my last four beads from this row. And I'm going through my work like this. You see? Now what I want to do is go here through this yellow and through these two green beads. And what I'm going to take are three greens and I'm going back through these two green beads okay like this now you see what I have I have a loop between my beads and I pull then I go through the yellow and through the following red and I take three red beads and I skip the yellow and go through the red next to it okay and I also went through the yellow and my goal will be to exit out of these two green beads. Okay. Then I take three green beads like this. Go through these two greens and if you can go through the yellow 
and also through the following red in one movement. In this way, you will save time. If it's difficult for you, do it in two or three movements. It doesn't matter. Just if you want to save time, this is my tip. Okay, three beats. Go here. Through the yellow and through the following two green beads. Take three greens like this. Go back through these two greens and through the following yellow and red. And again, three red beads like this. Go through the red, through the yellow, and through the following two greens in one or more movements. Okay, and now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this work. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next and how to start your ring band, okay? Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and when I pull you see how these yellow beads pops up from this side okay this is a wanted effect and this side where my yellow beads pop up will be the front part of my ring and now what I want to do at this stage is cut my thread and add a new thread okay and in order to do this I'm going at the back of my work and I'm making my knot by making here a loop like this. And I'm going once. Then I'm going second time through this loop I've made. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And then I'm going in the following seed bead like this. And then I cut my thread. You could do more than one knot, but when you make your last knot, go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread. Okay, guys, now I'm going to take a new thread on my needle and I will start my ring bang. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm back with a new thread on my needle and I'm going to make my ring band with it and I'm going to attach it to my work. Okay, now I will go again at the back of my work and what I do is that I go here through these two seed beads you could choose any place you like okay now I'm holding my tail thread with my thumb and this thread is about three feet or 90 centimeters I think half an arm span will be enough but let's be sure everything is cool and nice and you could reinforce where you want Okay, so now I'm, after I make this loop, I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then you could repeat this knot several times. Okay, and when you're ready, it's time to go to the part where I will start my ring band. Okay. And I think I will start it from here, from this red be uh, green bead, sorry, after the red. And now I will cut my tail thread and I will start, okay? And in order to start, you see I'm exiting here out of this green bead here. And I will go back in circle through this green one, just like that making here a loop between those two beads and this is called ladder stitch or square stitch okay then i go through the following green bead and i take another green like this and i go back through this green here okay like this I have a loop, I go through the following 
green take another green and just go back through this one here okay now you see I have my three green beads attached here but I need to connect them that is why I will go through all of the three newly added beads like this you see and connect them okay now when I pull this is what I have and here I want to continue with yellow beads okay I'm exiting out of this green bead here I'm taking one yellow and I'm going back in circle through this green one and I pull you see here I have a loop of beads then I go back through the yellow one okay like this I take another yellow and I go here in the center of my work through the central green bead and I pull then I go back through this yellow then I take one yellow and I go back here through this green one like this and then once more again through this yellow and I'm going to continue with green beads you could do them one color but I like the idea of alternating the colors one green and one yellow and you could combine them with red even if you want okay and again a green one back here through this yellow like I did before one more time through this green then again another green bead like this okay and back through this green one and then a yellow go back go through this yellow another yellow go back through this green again through the same yellow one more yellow go back through the green and through this yellow again okay this is what I have and I'm going to continue this until I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and when I continue this this is what I have I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger okay like this and now guys this is what I have okay and then I'm go exiting out of this yellow then I go through the first green bead like this and then back through this yellow okay and you see here I have a loop of beads it is the same thing that I was doing before but without adding any more beads you see okay and I pull like this I pull then I go through the following two seed beads okay I'm exiting out of this green here I pull again I go back through the yellow and in my next step I'm going through this green and through the following green bead just like this then I need to go through the yellow one more time through the green 
And if you want to reinforce, go through all of the yellows. By the way, you could do this through the whole length of your ring. Just reinforce your work. Okay. Then again, you could find a place to make a knot. Okay. And in order to do this, again, I'm going at the back of my work. Let's say here. And here, what I do is that I make a loop. I go once. I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the yellow one. I stick my needle in my mat and here I want to cut my thread and now guys my colorful flower seed bead ring is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from